What is up, Astro fans? Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different as we hear the Mariners are shopping Edwin Encarnacion. Now, what do y'all guys think about Edwin Encarnacion? Could y'all see him becoming an Astro for 2019? There are reports that uh, the Strohs, White Sox, and Rays were all involved in talks for Encarnacion in late December, but... Tampa showed no interest. The Astros were looking at him as well, but apparently we are content with Tyler White as our DH along with Yuli. Um, I'm going to ask you guys this. Put in the comments down below what you think would be a good trade for Edwin Encarnacion. And I just want to see what y'all's feedback is, see if what, what y'all think would be a good trade for Edwin. I believe the Astros would love to have Edwin as another DH type of player. You could keep Tyler and Yuli in there, but you could also add a I mean, you could add a third guy, but it's also kind of getting crowded though as well. I mean, you could put Tyler in other spots as well, not just first base and DH. He can always be the DH guy. You can also use Yuli at third base when he needs to, when Bregman needs a day off and put Edwin at first, or Tyler at first, and Edwin DH, but a power bat DH would be greatly useful for the Strohs in 2019, I believe, because I don't think Tyler White is going to be, is going to hold up to what everybody believes he's going to be like he was last year. He came out of nowhere last year, but then once we got into the playoffs, he did not do so great as everybody thought he would have, but Maybe 2019 will be a different year for him, and he'll come out and be the old great white shark from last year before the playoffs, but we will see when that comes around. Let's take a quick look at the 2019 projected lineup if we did indeed trade for Edwin. This would be a stacked lineup. You'd have leadoff George Springer, followed by Al, uh, by Bregman, then by Altuve, cleanup Correa, Brantley, there's Edwin, Yuli, Reddick, Shrinos. I might change, I would have, I, they might, if, if we, I don't think this is going to happen, but if we did get Edwin, I, there's a huge possibility that, they would put Edwin at the cleanup hole and put Carlos down at six. Yeah, down at six. I could definitely see that because I think you'd put Edwin ahead of Correa in that cleanup hole. But that's just my opinion. Um, but in the end, I don't think this will happen. I think it's just another little hope, like all the Harper nonsense rumors out there on Twitter that we've been seeing over the past week talking about the Astros connected to him. I don't think Harper's coming to Houston either. I think it's just a lot of hoax out there. Um, but just for the fun of it, let's put in Bryce in this lineup. Now I know this will never happen, but here is Bryce Harper in the Astros projected lineup for 2019. This will definitely not happen, but just look at that lineup if it did. That's how I believe it would be, but it most likely will not be like that if that actually happened. But that's just my thought process on it. I mean, but like I said, who knows? Um, but anyway, we'll go back to the Edwin lineup. If that is the case, this is what I think it will be. And I don't know. I'm I have mixed feelings about it because then you'd have to send somebody down and I don't know who you would send down. That would be a very tough decision and I don't know who you would send down. But I think having an Edwin sized bat in our lineup would be great instead of Tyler White because I'm not sold on Tyler White that much at all right now. And to have a solid bat would just be great. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, like I said, in the comments below, tell me what a good trade would be. What what would be a trade for Edwin uh, that the Astros would make? And I hope you guys enjoyed once again. 
Stroh's start in a couple days. They report in a couple days. So let's get ready for some more Stroh's baseball in 2019. Like I said, go Stroh's.